One of the really cool things we can do with Microsoft Forms Pro is we can actually send out surveys to a view. So if you think about a view in Dynamics 365, customer engagement, we've got here a list of contacts and these are all contacts that went to a specific event. So based on our criteria, we've been able to, to gather a list of people. So obviously in the real world, you hopefully would have um, maybe a hundred, several hundred uh, people that have met that criteria because they came to an event, they attended a webinar, whatever it might be. So rather than potentially having some kind of trigger that you could then use Microsoft Flow to, to push it out, we can actually send out a survey using a view instead. So let's go and actually create a quick survey. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll start with um, a survey and we'll say this is event feedback and we'll put in personalization because we can actually do this still with a view. We'll say first name um, Please let us know your thoughts on our recent event. Okay, so we've put that in there. Um, let's go ahead and let's give it a background image and we'll do a quick search on Bing. Let's see what we come up with. And we'll go ahead and use this one and we'll give the color a hex. Uh, there we go, perfect. All right, so now one of the things that I really like about um, when you're adding in questions to a survey, if I just go ahead and click Add New, bingo, I've got all of these suggested questions. So based on the fact that I've said it's event feedback and I'm asking people to let us know your thoughts on the recent event and we're using specific keywords, it's saying, oh, okay, well, here's some questions that we can suggest that actually might be useful and you might actually want to put in the survey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for are there any um, suggestions you have to improve future events? How likely are you to recommend this event? So that's going to be our net promoter score. Um, and then we can say how satisfied were you with the event? We can go into the next tab and we can say what did you like most and what did you like least? So you can see a lot of different questions there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the selected five. So we've put all those questions in there, so I might want to change maybe some of the options on this specific question. I might want to move things around, so I'm going to put the net promoter score at the bottom. Um, but overall, that's pretty good. I haven't actually had to do any typing yet. I can also then say I want to add another new question, and the bottom question of the minute is that net promoter score. It's then given another suggested question that is basically what's the primary reason for your score? So again, it's a related question that it's suggesting and we can go ahead and add that one. So again, I haven't had to type anything yet. That's pretty cool. So I've got my survey. Now what I'm going to do is if I go ahead and click on send survey, I've got my options and I go to the email. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick a template. I've got my event feedback message. I've also customized this by um, using the personalize tab and you can just, if I, let's remove that so I can show you. If I go ahead and click on personalize and first name, it's gonna say dear first name or whoever that might be. So we'll go ahead, be a little less formal, we'll say hi. And then this is the really awesome part. So that view that we saw for the contacts for the community event view, if I go ahead in the two, Actually, let me do it a bit slower. As you can see, I'm starting to type. What, the, what this is using is it's able to look in your contacts folder. So if you think about um, within Outlook, you might save contacts. So it's able to look in there. And it's also able to look in Dynamics 365. So I've got all of these contact views, but the one I want is called Community Event. And there it is. So if I go ahead and click on that, now what that's going to be able to do is based on the um, first name in all of those people in that specific community event view, it's going to be able to pull that in and say, hi, Megan, hi, Susan, hi, John, and put that into the first name. So for me personally, I think that is really cool if you're using Dynamics 365 customer engagement and you've got your views. Um, and you want to be able to then send out your surveys and send a link to people, that is gonna be huge. So I'm just gonna go ahead, click send, 
um, and let's go ahead and save the message as a template yes and then we've gone ahead and we sent that survey invitation out to the recipients and the recipients are the people that are in that community event view so if you're using Dynamics 365 for customer engagement, hopefully you can see the value of this and how this could be really, really cool and a, a really big feature, a big plus of using Microsoft Forms Pro. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.